Well, that door's locked. Doesn't appear like he can get to us anyways. Well, so much for that idea, huh? Welcome back, everybody, to 70s to Die. I am the Bearded Doji, and this is the Insane Nightmare series. It is day six, morning of day six. Um, and I've had this asshole zombie hanging out at the the base. Uh, are you are you inside? Oh, you are inside. Uh, he wandered in overnight with his feral sense and heard me, so... Uh, but anyway, I've been, uh, I did some mining, got a little mine going, and, uh, have been making stuff in the forge. We are now, um, uh, we're using iron arrows, as you can see here, so that's good. Uh, my mine is just right out here. Yeah, it's right here. Didn't get too far down, but it's iron and, got some iron stone in uh, clay. So that's all the further I got with that. But, uh, the plan for today is to figure out what we're going to do for horde night. And, um, we're going to do something with the, uh, how's my food doing? I need to actually do something with that. Um, do something with Dick's diner. So I still haven't found that fricking Bacon and eggs recipe. Um, I think what we're gonna do for food is we're gonna we're gonna use these. Uh, well, it'll take a little bit of our health away, but that's all right. It's not a big deal. All right, so let's chow down on a couple of these. We lose uh, five health per Sammy, but probably three of those will. Get us completely topped off. And we still have two more vitamins that we can use later if we need to. Alright, so let's um let's go take a look at Dick's. I don't have a real specific plan. But um what I was thinking about maybe doing is uh let's see. Maybe doing some kind of a an obstacle course sort of thing. Where we start off inside and then work our way back up to the uh, to the roof if we get overrun, kind of thing. What is this? That's just wood. But uh, I've, uh, like I said, I haven't really thought exactly how that would work if we do it that way. Ooh, that's fifteen thousand hit points. That is tough. Okay, and all of this should be 5,000. Um, or what we could do is we could just... Um, what's this? That's all concrete, too. We could do, like, a, a, a hatch tunnel. Um, I haven't done a hatch tunnel in a while. So if we... If we do that inside this building, the thing is, is that's 3,000 hit points, 3,200. I mean, I guess, I guess overall the building is pretty strong, even with the windows and stuff. Um, there isn't really any, what's it take to repair that? Iron ingots. Okay, I'm, I'm actually making iron ingots. So yeah, why don't we do this then? Why don't we why don't we go back here and we'll use this as our our main entry. And we'll just do like maybe a little hatch tunnel. See all that stuff is gonna be easy for me to take out. Well, that's gonna be a little tougher there. And if 
you know, if, if I feel like the hatches are going to get overrun, then we have a way just to escape up to the roof. Let's go take a look at the roof. Um, there is that hole there, but if we... It's all 1,000 hit point. Yeah, we could take all of this stuff out here, and then they wouldn't really likely be able to get get up there. And of course, you know, I would make a way up to the roof from inside, not from out here. Oh, thirsty. Take a couple of those. So yeah, this ladder's secure. They wouldn't really be able to get up on that ladder. And I don't think there's any other practical way that they could get up here. Um, last time I used this building, I did, I, I made like a little kill platform out here and I did kind of do like a little obstacle course where they had to run up and down and around to get to me and it worked out pretty good, pretty well. But I think if we, if we just simply have to retreat up here, we can do that. Now, another option is that's 500, but this is probably 5,000. Yeah. Another option is we could make, you know, cut a hole and make like a little pit and shoot at them with our bow. I don't have enough ammunition to, you know, to use a gun for that. But our our main killing is going to have to be with um with melee. What's this? Oh, that's that's pretty weak wood. So, all right. So, this since this is just 500 hit points, we could get rid of the broken stuff to make a nice even square here and we can cut out all that wood ceiling stuff all of, uh yeah all of this stuff here so let me get this cleared first and see if i can get some inspiration for exactly how to do this take that hey look at that we missed some food when we were in here last Oh, beautiful. So I think we're now I think we're one magazine away from bacon and eggs. Let's just double check that. We have nine when we get. Uh, yeah, I think we when we get to 10 is when it unlocks the next thing, which will be bacon and eggs and then coffee after that. Nice. There we go. Man, that was a lot of work. Okay, so we've cut ourselves an opening here. And I'll have to clean up all this stuff down here, of course. Um, I started this task. I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to show on camera, but I started this task by taking each one of these, you know, metal 1,000 hit pieces apart with the intent to, you know, kind of cut out the back to collapse it, a thinking that, you know, the wall here was 5,000 hit points, and then I realized it's just wood, so I started cutting away the wood in the back instead and finally got it out of here. So now let's clear all of this stuff out of here. Great. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want a way to uh, get up to the roof in case we are overrun. And I think we could maybe use this hole right here to do that just because um, each one of those blocks on the roof are 5,000 hit points and it's going to take forever to... I'm not going to clear out the rest of this stuff down here. It's just going to take too damn long. Uh, so, to that end, why don't we... Uh, oh, no, we got to do it this way. Let's make some scaffolding ladders. So, if we go here and type in scaffolding. 
And then what we want to do is... Uh, oh. Turn it that way. I don't know how far down this is going to let me go before it starts becoming unstable. Well, actually, that's probably good enough. Oh, no. I thought that was weird that that was making a stone sound instead of a wood sound. All right, so that's our way up on the roof if uh, the shit hits the fan for us. <clears throat> and then um, let's... How much cobble do I have? 66. That's not a ton. All right, well, let's go up there. And I will put a hatch here just in case... I mean, theoretically, one Zob can climb up on the back of another one and then climb up the ladder. I don't remember ever seeing that happen, but I suppose it could. Uh, let's have you go. Yeah, we'll just have you go that way. And, uh, okay. What do we need? Oh, we need to make an iron hatch, which we should be able to do back at the base. Now, let's take these guys and get them in the right position, which should be there is okay. Uh, there we go. If you guys didn't know this, using scaffolding for a grate like this will still allow you to throw um, grenades and pipe bombs and whatnot through it. But if you use normal rails, uh, then you can't do that. Okay, so we're out of cobblestone for that. Now, we're going to need to also have some kind of vulture protection up here so what i'll probably do for that is just make like a little shack um or even just a cubby hole that i can duck inside of but uh we're gonna need to uh we're gonna need to make some more cobblestone and then for down here i think what we'll do is we'll we'll kind of make maybe make an enclosed a tunnel i'll probably just block this off because i don't know what we would really use this out here for. So we'll probably just block this off in, in case they do try and break through and get to us from here, uh, which they very well could. And then we just, you know, you make like a little tunnel, use some cobblestone, make a tunnel with hatches all the way back. And then when we get, you know, back to here, if our hat, you know, if we get that far, you know, then we retreat up to here and then fight them for the rest of the night from up there by shooting arrows at them and dropping pipe bombs on their head, etc. I think that is the plan for that. Okay, doing all of that strenuous le uh, labor, however, really screwed up my food and hydration, so we need to go deal with that. And I think what we'll do for the rest of this in-game day is we'll go do a, a quest... Um, and then I'll finish whatever else we need to do there during the day tomorrow. We should have plenty of time to, to get it done. I mean, if absolute worst case scenario, I didn't do anything more on that. We're already okay to at least get up on the roof and fight them from the pit. So I'm not worried about it. Very good. Let's, um, got a hundred uh, forge ingots there. I'm going to... Actually, do I have more? Yeah, let's hang on to this forged iron just as raw iron in case we need it for some reason. And um, we're going to need some more stone. Let's maybe take that much stone and pull some clay out of here so we can make more cobble.
And we'll put that stuff in there. Do we have... We have two. Nice. Let's grab those out of there. And that's actually it for our beverage. So we're going to need to cook these up. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take a vitamin and use chamois to, to get our food back under control. They taste like shit, but they give us 15 food. And they hurt us too. Probably going to need all of these, but let's just hang on to that last one and see uh, where that where that leaves us. Okay, let's take this last sandwich, and that should get our health all the way back up to 100%. Drink this red tea here, and let's wait for one more of these to take with us, and then we'll set out and do this. We have a clear quest 229 meters from here. Oh, a couple of things too. Um, you guys told me in the comments that that buried treasure quest that we did and that was it the last episode or the one before? I don't remember now. Um, that you only get one zombie on the first one, but then when you do it again, then you get the big rush of zombies that I was expecting. So that is still a thing. Um, and so now that we know that, we will avoid th that quest like the plague, at least for now. Um, and let's see, I think I have a couple of challenges to do. So yeah, we've got craft force iron and harvest pipe. We have harvest clay and harvest iron. And look at that, we just got a skill point. Nice. We are now level nine. For that skill point, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a point into healing factor. I, I did, uh, I put my last point into pain tolerance. We'll put this one into healing factor. And then after that, our next point, see, we got cardio, we got healing. I might do iron gut. I might do living off the land. Um... Uh, or actually gunslinger probably wouldn't be a bad idea either because we do have a pistol and that's kind of our oh shit weapon so yeah maybe we should put a point in gunslinger for the next one we'll see how it goes I kind of like to go through and get all of the first points um, you know that we can get before I then start focusing on one of the actual you know main branches so there's a few more uh, you know, of those first points that I'd like to get. Okay, so we got a, a clear quest here. Let's gonna go ahead and head on over there and and do it. We do have to be careful. Our health is down a little bit from eating those chamois. But, um, yeah, I think we'll be okay if, as long as we're careful. I will take that, not that. Um, is there a zombo or a snake or something that hangs out over here? Those are all just corpses. Oh my god, look at that. Man, frickin' tastic, man. Man, friggin' tastic. That's just giving us wood, right? Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this. So, yeah, quite a bit better than our orange bone knife. So we have gotten a decent upgrade. I, and I can make repair kits. Oh, I guess we can put two things in that slot. That's even better. Uh, I can make repair kits now that we can make iron ingots. So, uh, but that the durability on that will be fine for now. Uh, we don't need this anymore, so let's grab that kniffy. And we'll hit this stump here. Yeah, the wood is complete. All right, I'm going to actually run back to the base and drop this stuff off since we're close enough to do that. And that way we're, we free up our inventory again. Do I have a repair kit in here? Um, I do. Look at that. Let's use it. Might as well.
Oh, running horde. Let's let them go on by. It's a good thing we weren't still down there farting around, huh? That would have been exciting. Of course, they all stop right in front of the house. Let's try and avoid them. That's way too many Zeeks for me to try and take on right now. We'll go around. I know I probably shouldn't be sprinting, but time's getting away from us, so we need to kind of move fast here. All right, let's see what we got here. Some paper. Bullets. I'm going to start hanging on to those. Let's do a quick uh, prelude in the garage. Duct tape. We like duct tape. There might be a Zeke in here. Forge ahead. Guess that's it. Oh, where's the quest marker? Must be around the back. Let's also check this cement mixer. There we go. And we will. Grab the concrete. All right, let's go. Oh shit, are we gonna have a dog back here? I don't think so. Yeah, let's go back and hit the garage again. And the mailbox and all that. All right, power attacks, knock enemies down. We'll we'll read that stuff. I don't I don't think we'll be, we'll be using clubs, but you never know. We could come across a really good club early on, and I might change my mind. Old guy's prerogative, you know. Uh, that's not better than what we have, is it? Nope. Oh, there we go. Our first wiring tool, and we got a couple lockpicks. And some uh, chain parts. We'll probably end up selling those. We're not going to be using stuff like that for a very long time, and we can use the cash right now. Um, What am I doing? I came in here to do something. What was it? Make more cobblestone, maybe? Probably. And then let's chuck that. See, we're already encumbered right from the get-go, so um, I'm going to... I don't want to get too far away, but I'm going to put a storage chest down here. This we could turn just straight... Well, actually, I want to... Oh. I want to hang on to the glue, because we might need the glue itself for some crafting. Okay, so they want us to go up... Just looking over here real quick to see if there's anything. Doesn't look like it. This is a one skull EOI. I think this is the one where we go through the roof. Oh, we're going to be a zombo. That's a thousand hit points. That's not one of those. It breaks real easy. Oh, we have to go this way. I was going to say, that's just the garage. We were just in there. Um, all right. Let's... Oh, shit! Oh, 
Ah, this floor's <laughs> this floor's deadly. Okay. Um. Well, we were that was fortunate that we didn't wake up Jiggly down there. Gonna come up here. Okay. Where is this guy at? In the other room here? Tell you what, um, go back to doing this just so something can't come up and get us right immediately from down below where where are you are you down below I don't know where's that oh there he is all right let's do this then Oh, that door's locked. Doesn't appear like he can get to us anyways. Well, so much for that idea, huh? Okay. Alright. We're, we're in pretty rough shape. We're gonna have to take that. Fuck. All right. Well, we just got the shit beat out of us. I wasn't, uh, I got a little too, uh, in a hurry there and I didn't really check the surroundings very well. We can't. Oh, oh, we just have a sprain. We have a break. Okay. That's in some ways almost worse. Uh, and I don't have any, uh, whatchamacallit with me. So. All right, well, let's just go back up there and try and be a little more careful. What say you all? Just want to see if there's anything worth looting over there. I do have bandages back in the house, but not no more here. All right, so there's a porch there. Let's go back through here for a second. Oh shit, that scared me. Just in case they can come through that way. See, that's hurt, hurting my arm swinging this thing, but... I gotta do it. Probably where the main loot is. Let's go peek up there. I know I'm completely doing this out of order, but... Oh, right, this place. Um, I think there's going to be some psalms behind that uh, altar there. So before we aggro them... I think what we'll do is we'll we'll run back through here and then fight them through this door. Okay, let's do it. 
No zombos. Are you guys not coming down here? There we go. Okay. Oh shit! I was just thinking to myself, I need to repair that. Okay. <laughs> I think I need to just like, wrap it up and go back to bed. Do you have- uh oh, do you guys have another way to get to me? Where are you at? Oh, right here, okay. Yes, I know I'm hurting my arm by swinging that, but I have no choice. We gotta use the weapon we have. Okay, she's down. Fuck. Can he get over here? He can't. We're gonna knock him on his ass. Where are you going? Oh, there he is. We did it. Okay. He bled out is what happened, so. Whew. Okay. Well, that was kind of exciting. Let's go get the loot. Oh, we need that right now. And what does this one do? Chance to harvest acid from cars, medical equipment, and barrels. Nice. We'll fix up that pipe. Oh, there we go. Yes, finally. How long have we been waiting for that one, huh? Very nice. Let's see, it's in Shoddy Messiah. Ooh, upgrade for a hunting rifle. Yep, most definitely an upgrade. All right, we'll we'll repair. Uh, well, that's already repaired, so we'll just sell that to the trader. Uh, this is just trash over here. Grab this plastic. And I think we if we want to get back to the trader, get the turn in, and then get home safely, we need to get moving here. Um there, there aren't going to be any more Zeeks in the house. But let's just do a very quick loot here. Yep, all good stuff. Um, did we go in here? Oh, that just goes down below. Shouldn't be a zombo in there. Want to hit the kitchen, especially. Uh, that opens the door to get out. Okay. Come on, get up. Through real quick. I'm not going to harvest that just because of time. Alright. There's a cooking pot that we don't need now. We'll hang on to it for maybe getting multiple campfires going. Wow, this kitchen sucks. Anything good in there. Okay, let's go. I'm one thing encumbered. Um let's see. Let's take that, that, and that. Stuff that I'm gonna sell to the traders. 
stuff that I'm not going to sell or don't give a shit about, let's drop for now. I want to keep the lead so we, because we can smelt it. And that gets us unencumbered. Uh, let's grab this pipe and use it to repair this so we can sell this to Air Trader. And then, uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I'll come back and grab this stuff later. We don't need any of that immediately. Okay, let's go. Be careful of dogs. There's a dog house there. And be careful of zombadoodles. Our sprain is just about finished, so that's good as well. I was guessing that wandering horde probably has despawned by now, I hope. That sham chowder was an awesome find. One of my favorite foods in this game. Just because of the buffs it gives you, plus one fortitude and good heals and all that stuff. Hey, Recti Poo. Get lost. Well, look here, boys. We got ourselves a real-life hero, and now he wants to be paid. I think the thing that's going to be the most useful for us right here and now are these two bandages. Of course, I can make bandages, but we need aloe cream for that, and that's not something that we can easily get. Um, the pipe bombs would be nice, but yeah, let's open flashlight. Well, I don't think we're going to have what we need to make this. Well, we need a workbench, so yeah, let's just take the bandages. All right, Selling take a look at your inventory. A dumbass like you. I'm going to sell these for 120 coin. Uh, you can have both of these and the armor parts. Uh, I want to hang on to the plastic. You can have the cash. So that gets up to 645 coin just from this. I've got coin back at the base, too. Um, we want to buy those? Yeah, you have those. Okay. Uh, he restocks on day 7, so he doesn't have anything new right now. Uh, I wish I wish he had a, an iron pick, because I'd consider buying that, but he doesn't, so... All right, let's take the next oh, job from him. Oh, you want a guarantee, huh? Well, maybe you should try Shamway. Here's a clear that's 337 motel. You don't mind getting your hands dirty. We've already done the motel, but let's it's right next door. So let's just don't do it just again and we'll speed run it. But we'll have ass. to get the job done. We'll have to do Oh. Yeah, right. That is the right the same one. But we're going to have to do that in the next episode, because obviously we're running out of daylight here. All right, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. Plan will be for tomorrow, day seven, to finish uh, the horde base. I'll see what I can do in, uh, in gathering a few more resources for tonight. We mostly just need cobblestone before you know it gets dark. And then we'll get the horde base fixed up and probably go do this... Uh, We'll speed run this motel quest, and then if time is on our side, uh, we might even do the Horde Night tomorrow in tomorrow's episode. We'll see how things go. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And I'm going to make myself some bacon and eggs. And I also need to remember to go run and grab that, um, that loot out of that chest, too. In fact, I might do that first first before I do anything else. But anyway, see you later. Bye-bye.